What's going on guys, Bullish290 coming at you with another video. Um you already know what this one's about to be. L look at the title, if you don't know. Um We are oh my calendar's off. It is October sixth, uh Tuesday, about an hour away from Wednesday, October seventh. Uh, I need to change my calendar and as I did last week, I think I might make this a series. I don't know. Um I'm I kinda had fun making it last week. So uh we are gonna we're going to review week four as I change my calendar to October uh, because I haven't done that. Well, I haven't done it to this one, did it to the one by my bed, but not this one. Um, so, we take a look at some of the games uh, week four. We'll obviously go uh, from Thursday to Monday, uh, excluding the Chiefs because since I'm a Chiefs fan, I'm going to review those games by itself. Uh, so here we go. Thursday night football. Don't know why this was Thursday night football. Um, I mean, I guess one team had to win. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> hilariously, it wasn't the Jets. <laughs> Sam Darnold got injured. Uh, I think they put Joe Flacco in for like a drive or two, and then Sam Darnold went back in. Uh, <laughs> this game, dude, like... <laughs> I honestly, like, I couldn't help myself, like, at first I was, I was starting to get, like, angry, but then I was like, why am I getting angry? I literally care about none of these teams. I was like, <laughs> the only reason I was going to root for the Jets this year is because they got Denzel Mims and Le'Veon Bell. This is the only reason, right? I, I honestly didn't care. Um, but obviously, they don't have Le'Veon Bell and Denzel Mims is out. And, uh, Jamal Adams is in there, which also is another reason. <laughs> so, <laughs> literally, there was no reason for me to cheer for the Jets, and obviously I'm not going to cheer for the Broncos, because, like, Drew Locke's injured, right? <laughs> and they're divisional, they're division rivals, which everyone was saying they're going to rival us this year and take the, take the West from us. Uh, call it coward. Um, but, uh, obviously, since Drew Locke is injured, they are not going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, they might as well just tank and get, like, an offensive lineman or a defensive player. Get a corner or something, you know? So, uh, yeah, the Jets are going to be really bad this year. I wouldn't be surprised if Adam Gase gets fired uh, either in the middle of the year or at the end of the year. I really feel like if they keep the what keep, keep up what they're doing, um, he's, he's probably going to get fired, honestly. The only reason why he was good is because he was Peyton Manning's offensive coordinator right he went to Miami sucked ass right I mean like he had a couple mediocre years where they snuck into the wild card with Ryan Tannehill and obviously <laughs> uh, Adam Gase went try hard mode when uh, going against the Patriots I think it's just the Dolphins actually they just go try hard when uh, when the Patriots come to town or when they <laughs> when when they see them on their schedule they just like <laughs> they like activate some sort of like <laughs> fifth gear or some shit, I don't fucking know, but, like, I, uh, obviously, I, he's probably not gonna be doing that this year, because the Patriots are pretty good, uh, even without Cam Newton, they still have a really good defense, so, uh, and I'll get to that, obviously, in a different video, when I go over the Chiefs-Patriots game, uh, so, <laughs> honestly, this game, uh, is, is looking up like it's gonna be, t it, like it was a tank bowl, basically, right, one team had to come and win. I, I mean, I would say if the Broncos had Drew Locke, they probably wouldn't be tanking, but they, I feel like they probably are, so. Uh, I feel like if Ripen or whatever that guy, I feel like if he gets, if he fixes a couple of mistakes that he made, which seem like they're going to be really costly in the, like, uh, towards, like, the end, <laughs> um, I feel like if he fixes those, maybe they'll win a little bit more games. I don't know. Uh, Vikings, Texans. Hold on. Uh, I need to get a drink of water real quick. <sighs> okay. Here we go. I'm ready to rant about this one. <clears throat> Honestly, <laughs> it... I... I it's like it's like the Jets and Broncos game, right? One team, both teams were like, 
0-3 oh, going in. One team had to win. And it was the Vikings. Obviously, everyone thought this year the Vikings were going to be real. Right? Everyone's like, they're going they're going to take the NFC North. It's going to be a hard-fought battle in between the NFC North. Or, in, the NFC North. The NFC North is going to battle the NFC North. Uh, it's going to be a battle in between the Vikings and the Packers. And some people were saying the Bears. Which, uh, obviously, at the beginning of the season, I was like, nope, shut up. And, you know, the Lions... Uh, you know, everyone did not expect them to do what they're doing now, but I'll get to that. Um, so, Texans go 0-4, and, and, uh, I'm glad I waited till today to make this video, because I can cover Bill O'Brien getting fired. Um, honestly, if you ask me, <laughs> they probably took another L doing this, right? And I know you're thinking, well, Bill O'Brien was a bad, bad head coach, and yada, yada, yada. You know, Romeo Cornell, who's the interim head coach right now for, uh, for the Texans since they fired Bill O'Brien, which, yeah, he, he's a stooge, all right? Billy O. Stooge. I, I, I stand by what I said. He's a bad head coach, bad GM, right? And the only reason why he did good is because he was with Bill Belichick. Okay, but here's why I still think it's a, it was a bad idea to fire him so early, right? Romeo Cornell <laughs> and... Uh, I know this pretty. I, I know some of this pretty well. He was a head coach for the Chiefs, right? Absolutely fucking sucked, right? He like uh, it's just like, dude. Um, I will. I will look up right now. He was not. Yeah. Okay. You want to. You want to hear this? He he was the head coach of the Cleveland Browns and the Kansas City Chiefs, right? What? Uh, not really. Not really all that good, right? Obviously. Um, so he was the. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Here, here's where I'm. Here's where I find this funny, right? He was our head coach in uh, 2012. And if any of you guys do not know. Uh, what the Chiefs record was 2012. I'll tell you this. They had the first round pick that year. The number one overall pick, first round. We went 2-14. and 14. We fucking sucked. Then he got fired. They brought Andy Reid in. They brought Alex Smith in. They took Eric Fisher, which I... He's a man pick. Honestly, they probably could have traded down and still got him. Uh, then he was head coach for the Cleveland Browns from 2005 to 2008. Let me read you off what the record was with the Browns. First year, obviously no one's expecting him to do good. 6-10. and 10. Okay, that's not that bad. Right, next year, 4-12. and 12. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, what about the next year? Oh, 10-6. and 6. Yeah, next year, 4-12. and 12. How are you going to drop off like that? You went 10 and 6 and 4 12. Uh, I don't think he's, yeah, I don't think he's won a playoff game. So. I know that you guys are like, well, he has to be better than Bill O'Brien, right? Have you seen the, te have you seen the Texans defense? It has not been good. And you can argue with me, hey, it's because they don't have enough talent. It's still bad. Like, he allowed what, 24 points in one quarter. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> like, that is a way he, he literally almost let a record get set on his fucking defense. Right? I, I don't know. Bill O'Brien is the reason why the Texans... I can't believe I'm saying this. Bill O'Brien <laughs> is part of the reason why the Texans made it to the playoffs right so I mean like you just took a steaming pile of shit and replaced it with a whole ass field of manure so that's that's what I have to say Vikings won um, I I still think they're like fourth in the division if I remember correctly I think or no they might be tied I don't know 
I don't know how that works. I don't. I don't think the Lions one was like. Yeah, I. I. I think they're tied for third. Don't quote me on that. Okay, next up, Cardinals. Panthers. Oh my God, dude. Panthers. No one expected you guys to win. And the like. The funny thing is, you guys did. Like everyone, even me, was like Kyler Murray is looking like an MVP candidate this year, right? This was not that game. <laughs> and, like, Teddy Two Gloves just, you know, it just didn't seem like he had to do all that much, really. Um, obviously, this is a game that they had without Christian McCaffrey. Um, <sighs> honestly, uh, it, it's it feels weird, right? That uh, that Teddy Bridgewater had more passing yards than Kyler Murray. That's just me. Uh, Teddy went two for one, uh, touchdown to interception, uh, and I mean, even though Kyler like had a pretty good game, I mean, I thought for sure he would have thrown for a little bit more yards, 133, three touchdowns. Um. So obviously he counted for all the touchdowns. Um, you know, it just didn't seem it just didn't seem like a good game, but for the Cardinals, uh, Panthers played pretty well. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna move on. Jags, Jags, Bengals. Hey, Joe Burrow got his real first career win. Uh, Should have had it. Oh, should have had it last week. Guess the fucking Eagles, right? That was such BS. They fucking tied. But hey, I mean, it didn't count as a loss. Um, I he should have really won week one. That should have been his first win. But uh, you know, and then the Browns. It looked like he was gonna come back. Like I said, I said it before, and I'll say it again. Joe Burrow is gonna keep them in games. And I know it's just the Jags, and I might be overreacting, but, like, I, Joe Burrow's really good. I think the Bengals, they just need to, they need to help him out offensive line-wise. So, uh, glad Joe Burrow got his first win. <laughs> Browns, Cowboys. Cowboys, it, it's sad when Dak Prescott throws 500 yards and still doesn't win the fucking game. If you're asking me right now, does Dak deserve his fucking contract? Dude, bring him his fucking money. Right? He played pretty well. Right? Even though he had a costly interception to end the game. He played... He played really good. Right? Uh, did a pretty good job of keeping Miles Garrett at bay a couple times. Even when his offensive line... Uh, for I can say that they weren't really helping him out when it came to him. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, I don't know. It, it's weird to see a wide receiver throw a better touchdown pass than your fucking quarterback, but that's just me. Um, yeah, Dak Prescott, 502 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Okay, that one interception was to end the game. That was the Denzel Ward, and I think it was, a, I'm pretty sure... There's a miscommunication between Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper, right? A guy you just paid a hundred and million dollars miscommunicated with a quarterback who just has been just through for 500 fucking yards to lose you the game. If you ask me, that's I I I always will trust the quarterback over the receiver. I feel like Dak Prescott was in the right because he knows, you know. Uh, except when it's in Tom Brady's thing, right? The coach comes out and says, oh, well, Dak Prescott, you know, if Mike McCarthy comes out and says, oh, well, Dak messed up there, then I'll fuck, I'll take Mike McCarthy's word, right? Dak messed up. But Dak, I mean, I, even then, I don't really know if I'd take his word, honestly. Dak Prescott had a really good game, and Mike McCarthy, I don't know how he feels about Dak Prescott. Um... Cowboys weren't it until OBJ. Uh, I feel like OBJ is made to just ruin the Cowboys' career. Um, so, 
Uh, losing Nick Chubb in the middle of the game kind of seemed like it. Kind of seemed like it, co like it cost him after a while, right? Kareem Hunt was uh, not playing for a little bit because of the groin injury. And when he was on, like, he looked really good. But, like, they didn't really put him on all that much unless they really felt like they were going to get a really good play out of him, right? So, um, uh, Nick, or Baker Mayfield about choked it. Uh, but luckily, with OBJ's speed and elusiveness, uh, was able to you know, keep a hold of the lead. Saints, Saints, Lions, right? This game was so fucked, right? I really thought the Lions were gonna win. Um, kind of wish they would have, right? Because the Saints have played bad all fucking year now. The only time they played pretty good was against the Buccaneers. All right, Drew Brees. I honestly, I, I would not doubt. For a second, I say this is Drew Brees last year, no fucking doubt. Right? They need to take a quarterback next year. Maybe they're taking Trevor. They are. They're doing a really bad job at it. They should let the Lions win. If that's the case. Hey, who knows? Maybe they'll get Trey Lance. I mean, I kind of saw the Bears getting Trey Lance because I would just kind of see if it's funny and see if he kind of turns out worse than Carson Wentz or like a Mitchell Trubisky. But I kind of like Trey Lance honestly. So who knows? Maybe they'll get like a. Uh, Jamie Newman, right? He's kind of local, sort of, in Georgia. Uh, so, yeah. Saints-Lions, nah, you know. I think the Lions can win some of their games, uh, the rest of their games pretty easily. Or at least, I mean, they, I wouldn't count them out, right? Uh, Seahawks-Dolphins, it was kind of scary at one point how close this game was. Um, you know, the Seahawks have let Russ cook. Uh, it's the new big thing now. I honestly kind of find it funny, but uh, it, this game didn't seem like you know the the runaway we thought it was going to be, right? Uh, we obviously thought the Dolphins were going to get slapped around, but uh, they were able to stay in in it for quite a bit. Um, but obviously, you're dealing with MVP candidate front runner right now, if you ask me, Russell Wilson. Um, and Chris Carson went out pretty sure in the middle of this game with a concussion, or, uh, at least he was getting checked for concussion, concussion protocol. Ravens football team, Washington football team, uh, we all know, we all knew what this game was going to be, right? Come on. Uh, Lamar just got slapped around by the Chiefs. Uh, it's a rebound game, and everyone's freaking out, you know, uh, Lamar got, like, a, a, a good run off of them and everyone was freaking it's like when he ran on the Bengals defense last year right I wish everyone would chill out by the Lamar hype yet right let this man win a playoff game or something let him prove himself a little bit more he's like he's like Giannis right now right he's really good in the regular season and doesn't play well in the postseason so like I said I don't I wish people would chill out with the Lamar Jackson hype Chargers, Buccaneers, um, Chargers had the lead, I really thought they were going to win, I'm I, I told my friends, I was like, Chargers really going to win this, and, uh, uh, they, they proved me wrong, which I kind of didn't want them to do, right, I kind of wanted them to beat Tampa Bay, but, you know, uh, things happen, uh, Justin Herbert still looked pretty good, uh, I, I, I don't know. This this game was just uh, uh, kind of a shit fest. Austin Eckler went out in the middle of it, and Mike Evans was crying like a baby, uh, and he had his foot injured and whatever. And then he cried like a baby because he was like, "I was that not pass interference?" But it was a pretty good play. And then you know he comes back and catches a couple of great balls, and yeah, so. Uh, Buccaneers played pretty well. Chargers, you know, uh, they're, they're gonna they're gonna stay in some of their games. Uh, Justin Herbert's gonna be like Joe Burrow, right? He's gonna keep them in the games. Uh, Giants, Rams. <laughs> we all knew what this one was gonna be, right? The we all knew the Rams were gonna win. We're not surprised what happened here. What I was surprised about was the fucking fight in the middle of the or after the game, right? I haven't seen anything from Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter about any fines for that. 
All, it, it just seemed like a heated game the whole way, right? Aaron Donald fought that offensive lineman. Uh, Jalen Ramsey and Golden Tate. Yeah, it's just like two two heated teams, two messed up franchises. Uh, you know, I I think the uh, the Giants were just upset that everyone was wasn't taking them seriously, and rightfully so. They, you know, they're zero four. So, uh, Bills Raiders. I watched some of this. Um, I turned it off after a while because I felt like I felt like CBS. Um, I felt like CBS. I can't remember what game it was. I I had to turn it off to to uh, go watch a more competitive game. Cause <laughs> literally, it was like twenty one something. The Bills were up, and I was like, eh, you know, I I really don't see the Raiders doing anything back, and you know, uh. Raiders are two two. Bills are four now. Uh, Josh Allen is, I think, uh, third best for the MVP votes. You know, candidate. Uh, you know, I, Josh Allen's playing really good. Uh, the defense. You know, it it doesn't seem like they're playing as good as they have previous years, but you know they're they're still pretty good, right? Uh, Colts Bears. Really thought the Bears were gonna win this one. I really wanted them to just because of Big Dick Nick. Um, but Colts get the win. Uh, they're both three and one now, and uh, Bears are weirdly second in their division. So, and I think the Colts are leading. Hold on, tight. No, no, they're not Titans. I'm pretty sure undefeated technically because they had their bye week this week. Eagles 49ers. The the NFC East is the saddest division. For the fact that the Eagles can fuck can be in the fucking top of their division with at one, two, and one is sad. It's so fucking sad. I literally hate the Eagles team right now because it's it's so frustrating of how bad they fucking are. Like holy shit, guys! You ba you guys barely beat the 49ers, with and they they literally turned in to your fucking team. This is literally injury bowl. Everyone's everyone on the fucking field is gonna tear their goddamn ACL in this game. Like fuck, and you guys almost lost. If if big play Slay doesn't make a get this big fucking play, you guys lose that game. Because that Hail Mary attempt would have fucking worked. And the 49ers would be 3-2. and 3-1. and one. Sorry, I can't do math. So yeah, the, literally the saddest game I've ever watched. Uh, literally, just fucking get rid of the whole NFC East. Worst fucking division in football. Falcons, Packers, we all, we all knew it was going to happen. Falcons have blown two fucking games this year. Back-to-back -back weeks. They're not going to fucking win this one. Their defense is played like garbage. And they don't have Julio. Well, Julio was in, but he went back out because he re-agitated his fucking hamstring injury. All right, Calvin, Calvin Ridley, I think, was out, though. I don't think he played. Can't remember. Todd Gurley. We all know what fucking Todd Gurley is. He's kind of washed up because of his fucking arthritis. Right? So Matt Ryan literally has himself, Russell Gage, who didn't seem like he was a big factor in the game, and Hayden fucking Hurst. What a star-studded offense. And you're going against a Packers team. I mean, even though they didn't have Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers is still a goddamn threat by himself. He's played so good this year. He's, he's honestly, he's, he's my second. And MVP votes, right? It goes Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen. And then maybe Kyler. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is, is going to torture garbage defense. It doesn't matter who's playing, who's not. Right? So. 
<sighs> um, we all knew what was going to happen. It was either going to be Aaron or Aaron, right? Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones. Um, Tally for the Falcons, it was both. A little bit of Jamal Williams in there. A lot of tight ends. That's what it felt like. Um, I still think, still think the Packers need a receiver. Hey, but Mohamed Sanu just got cut. Go pick him up, right? You just put, what is it, Aguara or whoever that tight end you drafted? You put him on IR and go pick up a fucking receiver. <laughs> Help Aaron out. Please. Anyway, that is it. That's about it for this video. Uh, I'll make the Chiefs video uh, later. My mic's about to die. So, uh, oh, and Titan Steelers, yeah, they're on their bye. They play Buffalo. Titans play Buffalo. Ooh, that's actually going to be a good game to watch. One team has to lose this. Kind of hope it's Buffalo, but we don't know. Uh, Titans versus Buffalo is a good game to watch coming up week five. Uh, Steelers, ugh, Steelers, Philadelphia. We all know he's gonna fucking win that one. Can't believe I'm saying I would rather take a fucking Steelers over there. Goddamn. Uh, Raiders, Chiefs. Uh, gonna be a fun one to watch. Buccaneers, Bears this Thursday. Um, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that one. Don't know how to feel about that one. Will Brady get his revenge on Nick Foles? We'll find out. Cardinals, Jets. Come on, we all know. Panthers, Falcons, that's a sad matchup. <laughs> Bengals, Raven, oh, fucking shit. Rest in peace, Joe Burrow. Jags, Texans, another shit fest. Uh, Rams, Washington football team, another shit fest. Dolphins, 49ers. <laughs> well, who made this schedule? Broncos, Pats. Pats without Cam Newton, that's going to be another shit fest. Cowboys Giants Cowboys hey they get a free win here if they don't fuck it up Colts Browns hey that might actually be a good game Vikings Seahawks rest in peace Kirk Cousins not gonna be able to keep up with Russ Chargers Saints I honestly that might be a good game for how fucked the Saints have been this year and Packers and Lions go on their bye next week so I will cover the Chiefs game momentarily. Uh, it's probably going to be Wednesday when I do because I have to let my mic charge. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the Chiefs one. Peace. But I got a feeling, play you all my songs And I'm blown out, speaking to me, work it up Can't remember either Running in circles, no feeling okay Act like imposters, we playing all day Last night we talked all about holidays One day we'll get all this thing, get away Don't have to think twice I'll be all so nice I have to think twice I'll be here for the night Don't have to think twice I'll be all so nice I have to think twice Oh, my God.